Avalon EIGRP. As usual with all the videos, I figure out the network IDs and IPs that they asked for beforehand so that you don't have to sit and wait for me to figure out the IPs. If you don't know how to do it, you should definitely practice. The more you practice, the faster you get, especially for your CCNA exam. So let's go here to enable and set IP address on LAN interface of each router to be the last assignable IP of each subnet. We'll go to the HQ router first. All right. Fast Ethernet. Here's zero. We'll no shut that. And then our IP address is going to be 5.88.192.54 with a 29 mask. All right, and let's go to the serial interface. Serial interface. No shut. Okay, uh, serial 010 is the last IP of that network. So we'll do IP address. 5.88.192.226 with a slash 30. Uh, we already know shut that. Okay, let's go with the other serial interface. And they want that to be the first IP of that network. So we will go IP address 5.88.192 dot, hmm, let's see here, 0000, zero, zero, zero the first IP, oh, right? First IP, it's a slash 29. Three, two, four, eight. Okay. We should no shut that. All right, let's get the IP addresses on the other router. Enable configure terminal. All right, interface, fast ethernet, zero, zero, no shut. IP address is going to be 5.88.192.46, the slash 28, to 40. And our serial interface Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and set the clock rate at 64,000 and the encapsulation as HDLC. We'll no shut the interface and they want the last IP of that network which is 5.88.192.4 Let's try that again. 5.88.192.62 slash 29. Okay. That should be all of the IP addressing. Let's do a show IP interface brief.
All right, and then let's do a debug eig. Let's do packets so that we can see as we set up our eigrp up here. We'll do the same thing here. Okay. We're going to set the EIG RP routing protocol on each router to let host one connect with host two. So there's our autonomous system number not to permit EIG RP on interface that is not within the network. So we just won't include this network right here in our network command. So a router EIG RP number 10110 network let's see I had them over here for the fast ethernet network is 5.88.192.54 oops dot four eight and our wildcard bits for a 29 is 0 .0 0 0.0.0.7. Okay, sending a hello. And then we will say network for the 156 or the 56 network. So, okay, we're going to have to stop this. get out of here there we go that'll make it possible for us to continue this so router router EIGRP 10110 network 5.88.192.56 slash 29 0.0.0. .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 Seven. Okay, let's do a show run. Okay, we got to turn off auto summary. Okay, let's go back to debugging the events on here, the packets. And we will undebug here so that we can type our commands in. Probably wasn't the best idea while we were configuring that. So Configure terminal, router, yeah, grp, 10110. Let's no auto summary now. Got a network of 5.88.192.32 for 28, maybe 0.0.0.15. And then a network of 5.88.192.56. 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.7. Okay, so there's our new adjacency. We don't need to keep seeing this down here. Oops. We'll get there. Hang on a second. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll leave that for now. I'm not going to waste your time trying to undebug the router. There we go. You can see we're sending hellos. 
Of course you can see that. That's all the message is telling us. We'll come back to that. Uh, let's see what else do we need to do. Set the default route. So IP configure terminal. IP route to serial zero zero zero. And we have to unall here. It's not letting me type. Where's my mouse? There it is. Well, I broke it. Let's get out of here. Try it again. Ah, so close. There we go. All right, let's not do that again. We need to do our default route here to serial. Zero one zero. All right, so we're showing a hundred percent, but let's verify anyway and do our show IP IGRP neighbors so we can see that we have our neighbor on this interface. So that's good. Let's grab a host here and ping our server. And there we go. Let's go ahead and do host two while we're at it. Just to make sure. All right. That's it. That'll wrap up the IGRP lab.